Hello, it's Peter here from Woodrow Handcrafts in Gympie and in this video I'd just like to show you how you can create a quick and easy quilt label uh, using the Genome Digitizer version, version 5 software for your memory craft. Um, I'm going to use the memory craft 15,000 today. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is select your machine model from the list. So click on there and find the machine that you'd like to use. Uh, so that's the one we want there, 15,000. And because we're going to just do a quilt label, we just want a small hoop. So click on your hoop list there and go to F810. So press 1 on the keyboard. That will then zoom us into the center of that hoop. Okay, so the first thing we would like to do is to digitize a rectangle. So over here on the left hand side, click on digitize and then click rectangle or square. Left click and drag your box out click again and you'll see that's created stitches. Now for some people they will have a weave filled like this instead of the outline that I just had. So if you're like that, select that for select that rectangle up here along the top, click on line and that will change that over to a line fill or a line out, outline for you. And then over here in your object properties, click on satin and that will create a nice satin outline for you. So the next thing we need to do is insert our lettering. So I'll close the digitizer down, click on lettering or monogramming here and select lettering. Over here on the right hand side you'll see you've got your enter text box and then you've got your font box. And just then create, then select the font that you would like to use. I'm going to go with run freehand, click in the enter text box and type in what you would like. And you'll see over here that that's all over the, it's not centered there. Just pick that up and drag that over until you've got it where you'd like it in the in the hoop and in the inside the quilt label. And the next thing you need to do is send that to a USB stick. Uh, so click on the write to card or USB, double click on your USB stick, put it in the EMBF folder. Uh, if you'd like to rename that, click on rename. Press OK. Click on the red box, uh, red arrow, and that's all done.